This is the Victron MultiPlus 2, king of the off-grid setups. Compatible with 48 volt batteries, 10,000 VA, we'll come back to that in a second, it's like the Land Cruiser of the inverter world. Built to last, built to tow, and built for a flogging. If you're not familiar with Victron, that's probably because you've never looked at an off-grid setup before. These things have been getting used in off-grid setups from Australia to Austria for decades now. They're designed in the Netherlands, they're absolutely built to the highest quality in countries all over the world, and they're suitable now for single-phase setups, three-phase setups, solar, battery, generator, wind power, anything you can think of, you can set it up to power your home with a Victron. It's fully customizable. There's a massive community around these things. So let's take a look at what makes them so great. So instead of having a grid tied inverter, a battery charger, a wind generator input, you can do all of that through this MultiPlus 2. It controls several different inputs and just brings them all together in one place. The only thing it doesn't do is you cannot connect solar panels directly into this unit. You will need a separate controller if you're going to be attaching solar panels directly to the Victron. However, it's not so much of a problem because most people who are installing batteries already have a grid tied inverter for their photovoltaic system. So if you've got a uh, Fronius or any other brand inverter that you really like and you wanna keep that, you can do it with the Victron. And that's possible with other inverters too, but the real benefit here is you can maintain blackout protection with your existing inverter by putting it in behind this Victron. So your Victron in the event of a blackout will create a microgrid in your house and will still allow your solar panels to charge the new batteries that we add on with this Victron system. So let's have a look in here. This does not come with all Victron systems. You've got to either choose to get an inbuilt one or a separate one. The separate one's great if you plan to have multiple Victron inverters because you only need one control unit to run multiple Victrons. Um, if you're just gonna get one Victron and you never plan to expand it, then you can get this built into it. Um, this is effectively the system that allows you to remotely control and monitor what your inverter's doing. So every inverter on the market is gonna let you monitor your solar output, how much uh, state of charge you have on the batteries, how much power you're sending back to the grid or drawing from the grid. Um, that's all done inside of the Victron, but if you want to remotely view it, you do need this separate adapter. And this is called the Serbo GX. So we'll have a look at that one later. This inverter weighs about 50 kilos. So let's see if we can actually get it out of the box here. <laughs> all right, Matt, Matt is gonna come and give me a hand here because this is ridiculous. All right, let's see if we can get this out. Three, three two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it a bit closer. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> uh, not for a single person in store. You can imagine trying to get one of these bad boys on the wall. It is not a baby. Let's get the plastic off this thing. Wow. So, this is my first time getting up and close personal with a Victron like this. Immediately, apart from lifting the damn thing, <laughs> Holy hell! You can feel this is built like a German tank. Do you have a massive house or shed with a huge electrical demand? Doesn't matter if it's single phase or three phase, the Victron's not bothered. You can put three of these bad boys in one system, linked together in parallel, one per phase, and get a massive amount of inverter power from it. However, this is not your normal plug and play inverter. Unlike most other inverters on the market that have everything built into one, Victron does have additional accessories like this Serbo GX here, like the separate solar charge controller, and it also does require a little bit of know-how when it comes to the programming of these things. So it's not just for your average DIYer, and of course you do need to be a licensed electrician if you're playing with the 240 in your house as well. So, what is the cost of this Dutch designed German tank looking and feeling unit installed in your house? Well, as you might expect, it's a lot more than your average inverter. Uh, a Victron like this is gonna cost twice as much as a typical Solus, Goodwee, GrowWatt sort of inverter. You're looking at about $3,000 each when on sale, not including labor to have these installed. So not a cheap inverter, but if you're looking for a serious system for the long term and you wanna do lots of customization, this might be just what you're looking for. Previously, I mentioned that this is rated at 10,000 VA and I didn't say watts and I didn't say that for a reason. And that's how you know this is a serious bit of kit. 
End consumers are not worried about VA. Typically, when you're looking at an inverter, anything you see on the shelf, they're rated in watts. You might see five kilowatts, eight kilowatts, 10 kilowatts, something like that. When you see it's rated in VA, that's gonna tell you that this is more for electricians and electrical engineers to figure out what cable size is needed. When we're talking about VA, it doesn't take into account the power factor. And that is the energy that's lost when we're converting AC into DC which is exactly what an inverter like this does. So in reality, this inverter has a 0.8 power factor, which means this 10,000 VA is actually an eight kilowatt inverter. If you think a Victron might be suitable for your house, feel free to reach out to us and we can do a site specific analysis for you. So get in touch, hurricaneenergy.com.au, give us a call, shoot us an email, and we can talk you through whether a Victron might be right for you.